love corn on the cob. <laughs> I love hominy. I love Times Square blowjobs. Move your butt. I loved my leather jacket. <laughs> Any comments about the jacket last time you lost? Uh, well, I, I, I feel shame, fuck. like the Hanson brothers. Okay, I'd like to ask Brent of Dead Hot, um, how would you define the word fleeced? And, uh, and it, this is a two-part okay. question. How long did it take you to shed every dollar you owned? How many hours did it take you within arriving in New York City to get rid of every fucking last cent you had? She was very beautiful. <laughs> Yolanda. Yolanda Devotion. She was wonderful. She was exactly. a fucking pig. Yeah, it takes exactly about six minutes to get fleeced. <laughs> That's about what, minutes. yeah, yeah. But you can't come in their mouth. And I, I we was, didn't come at all. Yeah, and I was pissing in that, that thing, and I had a fucking rubber on. I don't even know where that came from. Oh, well. Did you mess yourself? <laughs> no, not at all. Yes. Brent? How many times okay, okay now we're gonna hear from Brian. <laughs> from Brian, <laughs> how he, okay, cite an example of a well-constructed pop song. Leather pants, <laughs> big hats, black hair, hat hair. Hat hair! <laughs> hat hair! Whoa, awesome. Receding hairline! Receding bald. hairline! No. Hey, get this. Dude, we've already been through Rece this. Okay, <laughs> receder. Well, okay, you want to see more? No, that's, that's, that's what this bandana's for. for. <laughs> we figured out that my hairline isn't getting any farther back, it's just getting... It's going to be in, in, on me in this top. direction. It's heading so. south. Yeah. We're all fucked. We're all, we're all yeah. fucked. Yeah. Especially Brian. That's why we, the, the blossoms in Dead Hot have to get signed within the next six months. Oh, <laughs> we're all going to lose our hairlines. Hairlines are going to cost ball. us our careers. Okay. So how does look and sign the... How does look sign look? Um, uh, like me. Uh, RCA has yeah, like lost It looks horizon. just as shitty as you do. Uh, RCA is going to be here tonight. Through the courtesy of um, the Sidewinders and just the fact that they wanted to be here. So we're praying that we play a great set, smoke the fellow's asses, and hopefully get a decent deal. It's the first song. And be, I'll be able to buy car insurance. <laughs> and a jacket. And get another blowjob. All three, it'll be a triple header. <laughs> Those will be the first three no things I do if we get signed. Hey, Brian, I um, heard there was a little problem with some tickets. Yeah, some, some fuckhead lost the tickets, man. Oh, uh, yeah, our plane tickets are uh, out of the you? They're in Cincinnati right now. <laughs> <laughs> or it's or probably they're probably down on some corner being sold by a WAP. Yeah, Wanna expand on that maybe? <laughs> um Yours truly left the tickets in the plane. Well I think that's concise enough. And um, <laughs> A couple of us are shit out of luck. <gasps> Not quick. me, but again, again, on this whole trip, I lose absolutely nothing, but I end up paying the most. <laughs> I end up with interest. Lots. <laughs> Okay, what, what, what the we don't get to release a single. <laughs> when you're on San Jacinto, you're lucky if you get your cassettes recorded for right speed. Yeah, and you're lucky if you get your cassettes a month and a half after your record comes yeah, out. Yeah, that too. And you're lucky if you get any artwork at all that has I one haven't color. Seen it yet. <laughs> this thing that Rich Hopkins told us when we went into the studio was there would there would be no beer during the sessions, and <laughs> that la that edict lasted, I'd say, about 30 minutes. <laughs> so we were draw It was recorded and mixed in six nights, which is fucking unheard Five of. Five nights. Stupid way to do it, Five and um, we've only mixed it once. Yeah, and it's it. We well, it's we did the best we could with limited resources, limited funds, and limited intelligence. <laughs> we, we, we milked it for all it was worth. We had fun. And the Beacon, tell us about the Beacon. Yeah. The beacon Theater is a beautiful place. Beautiful it's an old, fucking old place. vaudeville stage, from like the 15s. What did you guys play? What? What you guys play? We played Lost Horizons. It was fucking wild. Big stage, real. huge stage. The monitors were like 15 feet from the front of the stage. So it was a lot of room. The place was about the size of Gamage. Maybe it was actually bigger than Gamage. It held about 3,500 people. It was just a beautiful old theater. It's sort of like the old Palace West out in, out in Phoenix. Did you meet anybody? Did we meet anybody? Well, I met I Michael Hutchins and I met the Smithereens. And Mike, hey, Rick Purcell, Rick Purcell. Rick Purcell went into the bathroom and was taking a piss, and Michael Hutchins was not two feet away from him taking a shit. So Michael Hutchins shits too. Did <laughs> it I, I, I wasn't informed. Go, go in and find Rick. <laughs> and, uh, he, 
Iggy Pop drew a dick on Bill's bass guitar, so yeah, that's, that's still one, yeah. one good thing we have going for us. And we got the Red Hot Chili Peppers stoned. We got the Red Hot's way stoned. <laughs> no, you didn't. Yeah, we did. You're lying. And Flea there. was in there doing his bass exercises, and somebody held the pipe for him, and it was, it, I don't know, it was, it was a brush with greatness. <laughs> what about MTV? Oh, we did a shitty interview with MTV last oh. we had Scotty, Scotty went to MTV and got them to even let us sit down. They did about a 20 minute interview with the Ramones and they got us in and out of there in about a minute and a half. Yeah, they, they had nothing interesting to ask us and we, we had, had didn't have a whole hell of a lot to say to them. So it was over so quick. It didn't really matter much. They it was kind of like our fleece actually. <laughs> yeah. It was a lot like that. We met George Clinton, that was a pretty big thrill. Doesn't shake hands like a normal guy. He's got to grasp your whole arm, you know, so. Had a lot of hair, big, big hair on George Clinton. Yeah, it's a pretty good deal. And, uh, I think we should shave it and split it up amongst <laughs> ourselves. Really Remember when Danny sold Keith Partridge's hair? <laughs> uh, one funny thing, after, right after we got pl done playing at the Beacon, Tammy Allen went up, came up to us, and told us that she sat next to Peter Murphy while we were. We were playing, so she got Peter Murphy's autograph while we were there. I don't know. Everybody was pretty starstruck. Everybody was walking around, going, "Oh my God, there's Lou Reed, you know, five feet away." And you got to go around Lou Reed to get down the fucking stairs. Lots of activity going on the other night. I met Johnny Ramone on the staircase. Yeah, we sang uh, no, Pet Joey Cemetery. Ramone, Joey Ramone, and Joey Ramone is everybody as pale as he can. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, oh, he looks sick. And we, oh, yeah. they brushed by us in China Club, which is underneath the back theater. Any drugs here? Drugs? 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 You have any drugs? No? Fuck out of here. When? We're just soaking up the local colors. 